the search bar block on Squarespace isn't the greatest. And that is exacerbated somewhat by the fact that it has really terrible styling with not many options to tinker it natively. But one thing we can do, if not change the functionality, is change that style with code. And I want to show you exactly how to make it at least look top notch, even though sometimes it might not quite perform that way. So let's dive into it and I'll show you exactly how to do it. So I'm going to use a blog page as an example here, but you can put a search block anywhere. If we go into edit and then add a section because we can't add a block in a blog section. So put a section above. I like to use the classic editor for this. So let me just move me. So we're going to add a blank. And then what we want to do is add a block, add a search block. Then we want to search a specific page because we're on a blog and just say, yeah, search the blog. And then the display, the only design options that we get are do you want a quick preview or not? And then dark versus light. So you may as well just go with dark. Then I'm going to make the section small height, small width, and then get rid of this uh, text block. So this is how our native search bar looks. Personally, I think it looks a bit naff. So what we want to do is go into Google Chrome Developer Tools and we want to identify the search bar. So to me, it looks like this. We're going to copy that. We're going to go into our CSS. So we want to go to Design, Custom CSS, make some new lines, and then we'll just call this Search Bar Styling. Copy in here, squiggly brackets, and then really we want to get rid of that border first of all. So border, none. And that essentially says we don't want a border. So we're getting somewhere. Then what we want to do is override this and say border, bottom, solid, 1px. Now we can make this thicker, so we could say 5px, which again, <laughs> doesn't look great. So we'll stick with 1px. I find that looks quite classy. Open this up and you can see our search bar it just looks perfect. Well, I think it's nice and minimal. It's not in your face, but it's just a much better experience for users. And look how simple that was. We essentially targeted one block. We said we don't want an overall border and we want just one border on the bottom. Now, what we can do is change the color so we can use a hex code. So if I do FD, 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 it's a really light white, which we can't even see. We can also give it name, so light gray, or which I actually think looks nicer, to be honest, because it's a bit more, or it's a bit less in your face. We could say red, blue, etc., etc. We can also use RGB codes or HSL codes if you want to use those. But let's just stick with black. In fact, no, let's go with light gray because I like that best. So that is how you do it. Super minimal, easy to do and makes a world of difference to your Squarespace website. If you found this useful, please make sure to leave a like, hit subscribe, and check out all of the Squarespace resources in the description below.